Today on the channel, there's no faking it as we unbox Mondo Masters of the Universe Faker. The spirit of Ultimate Warrior will run forever. channel for another Mondo Collectibles unboxing and review and today on the channel we're back to the masters of the universe with Faker but for all your Faker needs that are not Mondo Collectibles make sure you're hitting up Entertainment Earth use discount code Kyle save yourself 10% all in stock items anything over $79 does ship free we got to get a deal out there and speaking of deals that's what I got on this one is I did pick him up at PowerCon about a month or so ago as I'm filming this he was for sale there. They had some new old stock going on. Basically half the price of eBay. Was not planning on buying those, but I couldn't turn down that price, so I jumped all in at PowerCon. Picked up Faker, picked up a few other ones that were unboxing on the channel, so make sure you do subscribe to this very YouTube channel. But happy to have Faker, an OG favorite from my childhood, here in the Mondo universe today. And of course, we're going to do this like we do all the other reviews on the channel. We're going to take a look at the packaging. We're going to talk about it. We're going to unbox it. We're going to talk about it. We're going to see where it goes from there. And of course, these come in a nice shipping container box, very well protected. And then inside that box, over this box, is the Snake Mountain slip case cover. Very cool here. Nice uh, Snake Mountain artwork on there. Absolutely do love that. Designated it's a bad guy. I do wish they had a little sticker or something that said Faker or something you could know if you had all these lined up. But it is what it is. It's not the end of the world at the end of the day. And then we get this beautiful box presentation. We know it. We love it by now. Absolutely love the packaging on these ones. Definitely very, very cool. And Faker, one of the coolest of the bunch, if you ask me. But a very cool uh, kind of Iron Cross going on over there. The old He-Man logo from his chest piece. You got Faker. Is it Faker? Is it He-Man? Is it anti eternia He-Man? Is it Cosmic He-Man? Is it uh, He-Man that lives down the street? I don't know. It could be any He-Man. It could be Faker at the end of the day. Because it says right there, it says Faker. So we know who it is. Masters of the Universe, of course. I believe it says Mondo Exclusive. Mondo store exclusive, nice embossed seal there. I'm here for that. One six collectible on the sides of both of, both of these. Then on the back, looking very cool. That same kind of artwork, really, but in nice color features. You got that Smurf blue color against that orange hair and orange top there. Very, very cool. There's no way you would ever confuse him for He-Man. It's like, oh, that, is that He-Man? Oh, that blue skin? I'm not sure. I don't know, but definitely cool. And, of course, he is a bit of a robot, as we do know, but looking cool in the packaging. And the packaging, can it get any cooler? Yes, it can. We got the power of magnets. They compel you. Holds that together. Always love that magnets. We got the little blurb over here. We'll read all that. Then you got Faker in the package there. Looking only like a Faker could look if he was in the 1-6 scale is how he would look. Well, let's see what it says about our friend Faker here. Originally built by Man-at-Arms to cover for He-Man. He-Man needs a day off sometimes. He's not like James Brown. He doesn't take any days off. Uh, He-Man does. So they said, let's build this Faker, and then He-Man can take the day off. Yeah, that's what we'll do. Uh, but let's see, to cover for He-Man when Prince Adam is needed, Faker was abandoned after his first mission in the Royal Junkyard and salvaged by the evil warrior Triclops. Uh, at the request of Skeletor, Faker was reprogrammed to replace He-Man and convince the people of Eternia that He-Man had betrayed King Randor and turned to evil. Yes, there you go. Faker, the evil robot of Skeletor. Extra heads, extra hands, all kinds of fun going on in this one. But let me take it offline. Let me get old Faker out of the package. And we'll be back talking all things Mondo Faker. All right, we're not faking it once again. We got Faker out of the package. And, of course, we're going to start off going over the accessories first. Then we'll dive into the Faker figure itself. And I guess we'll start with the old Mondo stand. Of course, seen it before. We'll see it again. Most Mondo figures you do get a stand with. And this one's got a beautiful stand right here, just like the ones we've seen in the past. Like a doll stand, basically. But you want to put these guys in some kind of protection. Put them in some kind of a stand because, as I've said before, one of these guys falls off your uh, shelf, falls off your table or something. It's a bad day at the office. This is an expensive breakage, so buy or beware on that. Make sure you got these guys sealed down in your collection so they're not going to fall, take a big drop, anything like that. So we do have that. Because secondly, we'll go into the hands. We always usually start with the hands. And man, I tell you what, Faker, he came to fight. He's got two fists of fury right out of the packaging there. 
And then on the other side of the spectrum here, we got two gripping hands. Got to grip that sword. So we got two gripping hands right here. And a nice blue color here for old Faker, of course. And then we do got uh, a little bit of a trigger finger or a little come here finger, whatever you want to do with it. But we do have this once again. He's not quite a Smurf blue, but he's pretty close. He's pretty close on the Smurf scale of colors, of course, as we know. And I guess those last set of hands are obviously a weapon hand, a trigger hand. He can shoot some people if he needs to because, what do you know, we got a little blaster here. Very futuristic but very primitive at the same time. Just fits into the Masters Universe world perfectly. Got the nice handles going on. A nice uh, glistening orange color. Really kind of matches a little bit of Faker as well. Uh, definitely a very futuristic weapon. And a little bit of a weight to it as well here. So he's got some trigger hands. If you want to have him shooting some people, you can definitely do that. And then you get more to the primitive weapons, we'll call it here. We get the big old battle axe going on. Nice sharp edges on this one here. Beautiful wrapping throughout. Got the silver, got the orange, got a little bit more lesser orange color. Definitely a spike on the top, two blades, a little spike on the bottom. A little copper color, I guess is what I should say. Instead of orange, it's more copper. But definitely a big old battle axe. Fits in with He-Man, fits in with Faker, uh, fits in with anybody. So here for that as well. So we got that as a weapon. Then we do get the sword and the sheath. All oh, everybody needs a little sheath action. So you got the sheath, all the wrappings around it. Once again, that copper color. And then you got the tip of the sword here. You got a little bit of that ram's head showing his allegiance, of course, to Skeletor. And then we just pull it out. It's like the sword in the stone. And bam, we're ready to go. But we do got his sword right here. Definitely uh, feels like a power sword, but not quite a power sword here. Definitely got the wrappings we've seen before. Got some of that copper color and almost a, uh, almost a whitish silver as a blade instead of a dark gray there. Definitely a little bit different on this one, but very cool. And I love that you just store it in here if you're not going to use it. You got to choose your own sword adventure at the end of the day. And then you got these that do turn side to side. You got to be careful. You don't want to pull up on them, but they do pull side to side over here. So we do got that going on. And then final accessory right here, we do get the big old uh, battle shield here. So you always got to have a shield. I will say the gripper for this shield came separately. I had to plug this in here. Uh, it took me forever. I'm like, where does this go? What is this for? And I looked at every single thing. Then I finally got to the shield, of course, last. Oh, it plugs in right there. Uh, but it does have that going on. Once again, orange, copper colors, a little silver, kind of little rocks it almost feels like around here. Very primitive once again, but a big old heavy uh, battle shield going on. I love the kind of leather wrapping on the inside as well. Definitely very cool here. Definitely got to have this if you're out there uh, fighting the good fight. You got to have a shield of some kind. There's no doubt about it. Now we're going to dive into Faker here. We're going to go through the heads, and we'll start with the stock head right out of the package. I guess it looks close enough to He-Man. It's not a perfect He-Man by any means, but it's definitely an interesting looking one. Of course, you know immediately it's not He-Man. He's got blue skin. He's got orange eyes. He's got orange hair. It's not He-Man, but it feels like He-Man. It feels like Faker at the end of the day, but very stoic look on the face. Uh, definitely interesting haircut, a little bit short, a little, a little Dutch boy-esque almost in some ways there. Looking very interesting, but uh, it, it's okay. It's okay. It's not my favorite. It's Probably better than this one. Now, this one, I do like that Mondo gives us this. We saw this with Anti-Eternia He-Man. We saw this with regular He-Man. It is the OG He-Man uh, head. And I love this on the original line of He-Mans. It is the most iconic He-Man head, if you ask me. But for whatever reason, this head just never works on these kind of bodies. I don't know if these are too updated, too extra that this makes it feel weird I, I don't know what it is but i do like that they include stuff like this but i just don't think i could display this head on there but it is definitely the og faker the og he-man head all day long and like i said we've seen it in some different colors over the last year or so and then this is the one I'm leaning to use here. It is the Faker head, very similar, but he's got a little Terminator feel to it. We got some of the skin ripped away. You can see some of the robot stuff. Definitely a little bit more scary. Definitely a little bit more menacing. Definitely sets it apart even more from your He-Man figures. So right now, this is in the running for the head I'm probably going to end up using on this one. But we'll see what happens. I don't know. Very, very hard to decide on when you get multiple heads sometimes. You're like, gosh, I don't know what one to use. I want to get the most bang out of my buck. I want to use all these. But you just can't use all three. You just can't use all three no matter how hard you try. That being said, you could probably buy, I'm sure they have those NECA stands that for heads, those might work on here. I should look into that because it would be kind of cool to set these guys up with a couple of those in front with those NECA head displays. That might be an option out there. So I might look into that on my own. 
So we'll see. But diving into Faker here, diving into his accessories. He's got the big old belt going on. I think this is the Attorney of United States title, I believe. Uh, he traveled to the U.S. and won that United States Championship and brought it all the way back to Attorney of Good for him. So we do have that going there. And we got kind of a vinyl pleatherish uh, loincloth going on. It's not your old daddy's fur loincloth. It's more of a pleather-like loincloth going on here. So definitely interesting. Got the forearm guards looking good. Got a little uh, silver attack going on. I don't think those are removable. They are not removable right there. You do got the up top here. Very Skeletor-like instead of He-Man-like on the top here. For his little vest there you got the little gladiator gauntlets on the side or whatever you want to call those things and of course you got that skeletor kind of uh jewel in the middle with the skull and or not the skull but the crossbones i guess we'll call it there definitely looking good and then you can see it peeking through but the robotics on faker of course and i don't remember my original Fakor having that sticker i feel like i maybe i never took his vest off i don't i don't know but or i just totally forgot about it but it's definitely iconic to the faker brand is that robot sticker and he does got that going on here very cool a little bit sticky i will say which is interesting yeah, it's got a little stickiness to it. That's that's interesting. Uh, watch out for that a little bit there. Uh, then, of course, you do get down to the boots here. He's got some purple boots going on with the black kind of wraps on it. And then you get some fur at the top of the boot. Got to keep yourself warm on those cold Eternia nights. We know how that goes. And then we dive into the uh, ex, uh, the articulation, not accessories, the articulation on this one. You do get the head side to side. No real, a eh, little bit of down. No real up on this one, but some down going on. Arms go all the way around, very tight joints. You do get the bicep cut. Single jointed elbow, and as I always say, uh oh, knock the hand off. Make sure you heat these up or have them sit in your house for a while. You don't want something like this out of a cold uh, front porch and open it up, moving it around. You could easily break some things off, knock some things off, as we do know. Hands, of course, removable. We saw that right there, side to side, back and forth. Fist of Fury, as we talked about. Get a little hula hoop action at the top. A little waist, not really a whole lot of waist on this one, or he's just a very tight waist. And I know, oh yeah, you got a little bit in there. I mean, it could probably go. I should probably heat it up. We do know that He-Man, that 3-in-1 He-Man, had a lot of issues where the waist broke in half. We'd hate to see that, so hopefully that doesn't happen with this one. Do get a little bit of a splits action right there. There is no thigh cut on these, but there is a double-jointed knee for those keeping track at home. And you get a little side-to-side -side out of those knees as well. No official boot cut here. Then ankles back and forth side-to-side. -side. No peg holes on the bottom. Obviously, we got to use that doll stand right there. That's what we're going to do. We're going to make our final doll stand is what we're going to do with this one here. But it is faker at the end of the day. He's not faking anybody. He's not fooling anybody. We know who this is. And he's definitely an iconic one from back in the day. And I always give the story my dad as a little kid. He-Man line officially jumped the shark for him with fake. Or he's like, oh, it's just He-Man in blue. I see what they're doing. They're trying to get the most out of their molds. It's a toy business. I think he said that back in like 1983, 84. So... Maybe I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure I remember my dad saying this is just this is just a cash grab on this faker here. So Toy Line's been doing it for a heck of a long time, all the way in the 80s, but even before that, back in the 70s. We know the history of Battle Cat being an old Big Jim figure, uh, repainted for the He-Man line, getting the most out of your molds at the end of the day, and that's what they do with this faker. But it does work because he has become iconic. We all know Faker. We all love Faker. Uh, for the most part. Just a lovable robot. Uh, just uh, like a young Johnny Five or something. Who knows? Who knows? But definitely looking cool right here. But speaking of He-Mans, how about we get that He-Man out? So uh, similar but different. As we do know, this is the updated He-Man. I don't have the OG He-Man this was originally off of. But it gets the point across. It gets the point across. But we do have old anti attorney He-Man as well. Man, oh man, I love this He-Man. Just the darkness, the evilness. Uh, I just feel like the anti-attorney He-Man just listen to Creator in his headphones at all times. Just get ready to attack He-Man. Just a, an all-timer right here is old anti-attorney He-Man. So you get a little colors of the rainbow. You get the black, you get the blue, and then you get the uh, human skin tone color, for whatever that's worth. But definitely all the colors of the He-Man rainbow being represented right here from Mondo today. Just very, very fun. But what are your guys' thoughts? What are your thoughts on Facebook? Baker. Were you all in? Were you all out? Do you hate a repaint like this? Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. And then once again, which head do I use? Let me know which head I should use for Faker. Like I said, I'm leaning towards the robot head. You guys tell me what you would do in the comments down below. And of course, while you're here, don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Turn on the old notification bell as we got videos every single day. And we got even more content for you on Patreon. Patreon, your best way to support the channel. You get tons of early access to videos, all kinds of bonus content. 
you name it, it's all going down over there on the old Patreon channel. Your best way, like I said, to support this very YouTube channel. You can also support the channel at ProWrestlingTees.com. Search Kyle Peterson. And don't forget social media. Sir Paul 64 on the X. The underscore Kyle underscore Peterson on threads and on Instagram. So for Mondo Collectibles and Faker 2, I am Kyle. And I'll see you all real soon.